name is Sidra and I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to talk about signs and symptoms of shingles, its transmission, complication, treatment and prevention. So let's begin. Shingles is also known as herpes zoster and is a reactivation of the chickenpox virus which is called the herpes zoster virus. It's a painful rash that normally develops on one side of the body or one side of the face. It may also affect the eyes. The rash may be developed inside the eyes or around the eyes. Typically, the rash consists of fluid-filled blisters which scab over 7 to 10 days and takes about 2 to 4 weeks to fully clear up. Before the rash appears, people may experience pain, tingling or itching on the area of the rash and this may happen several days before the appearance of the rash. Like I said before, the rash normally appears on the right or left side of the body and appears in the form of small patches or stripes. In some rare cases, usually in patients with weakened immune system, this rash may develop on the generalized area of the body and may look similar to a chickenpox rash. Uh, some other symptoms of the shingles include fever, chills, upset stomach, headache, itching, tingling, or burning pain. Now let's see who's at risk of getting shingles. Anyone who has had chicken pox in past can develop shingles, which means even children can develop shingles. But most commonly, older adults or people with weakened immune system tend to be at a higher risk of getting the disease. <music> Normally, it's thought that any contagious disease is transferred through, through cough or sneezing or any air droplets or through bodily fluids or droplets, but that's not the case in shingles. The shingles virus can spread from a person with active shingles and can cause chicken pox in a person who had never had chicken pox or, or who never received the vaccine for chicken pox. It actually spreads through direct contact with fluid from the rash blisters. Therefore, a person with active shingles can spread the virus when the rash is in the blister phase. It's important to note that shingles is not contagious before the development of the rash or, or once the shingles rash has dried and developed crusting. Therefore, it's recommended to cover the shingles rash to decrease the spread of the virus. Now, most people who develop shingles have only one episode during their lifetime, but that's not always the case. You can also get this disease more than once in life. Therefore, it's very important to get vaccinated even if you have had the disease. And especially now that we have a very effective vaccine called Shingrix which is developed against the shingles and is considered to be 90% effective against the disease. This vaccine is so important and I'd like to talk more about it. So I've dedicated a full video about the shingles vaccine. I will leave the link of the video in the comment section so you don't miss the important information about it. For now, let's talk about the complications from the shingles. The most common complications of shingles is long-term nerve pain, which is also called post-herpetic neuralgia. This pain can even occur after the rash has resolved and may last for months and even up to years in some cases. This pain can be so severe and deliberating that it can actually affect over the daily life. About 10 to 18 percent of people who get shingles will experience this pain. Now the risk of getting this nerve pain increases with the age. An older adult with shingles is more likely to develop this pain and have longer lasting effect compared to the younger adults. And normally people younger than 40 years rarely develop this nerve pain associated with shingles. Therefore, when we are treating shingles, we not only include the medications that diminish the effects of the virus, but we also include the medications that help with the nerve pain or just the generalized pain caused by shingles. Antiviral medications that are used for the treatment of shingles include acyclovir, velcyclovir, or femcyclovir. And these medications are most effective when started as soon as possible after the appearance of the rash. And normally it's recommended that they should be started as soon as within 72 hours of the appearance of the rash. So if you think you have shingles, contact your doctor right away so you can discuss the right treatment plan. Since shingles is very painful, of course pain medications will be needed. Sometimes over-the-counter analgesics like Tylenol or Motrin is all what you need. But in other cases, the pain is so severe that you may require stronger opioid medications. Other over-the-counter pain medication options could be lidocaine patches, calamine lotion to kind of soothe the skin, 
or capsaicin cream. Also, since the rash can cause itching, some people may need Benadryl or can use cortisone cream uh, topically on the rash. For those people who get that typical shooting and burning nerve pain sensation, will require medications like gabapentin or Lyrica to treat that nerve pain. In general, the most important key points in regards to shingles is to maintain good personal hygiene. Avoid scratching the rash, wear loose-fitting clothing, and try to keep the affected area clean in order to prevent a secondary bacterial infection of the skin. The rash should be covered to decrease the risk of transmission of the virus. Finally, let's talk about how we can prevent the shingles. You know, the best way to prevent shingles is to get vaccinated. And nowadays that pharmacists are playing key role in education of the patients, dispensing the medications and also administration of the vaccine. So you have no excuse of not being able to get the vaccine. If you are eligible to get the vaccine, that is you fall in the age category from 50 to 60 years or over, you must go to your pharmacy today and ask your pharmacist about getting the new shingles vaccine. The new shingles Shingles vaccines is a two dose series and is considered to be up to 90% effective. So there is no excuse of not getting the vaccine and putting yourself at a risk of getting this dreadful disease. Like I said before, I've made a separate video about the shingles vaccine. I'll put the link in the description and the comment section below. So make sure you go check that out. All right, so that concludes my today's video. If, if you have any questions or concerns, do ask your pharmacist in the comment section below. I will see you soon with another informative video. I hope you guys are safe and healthy and take care. Bye.